there are very few exotic performance cars which have as much to live up to as the Lamborghini Huracan. It has to live up to one of the most successful and one of the most popular cars Lamborghini has ever produced. Also one of the most long-standing, the Gallardo. The Gallardo has had so many different incarnations, all of which have been hugely popular and loved by fans. So to surpass the Gallardo and be, in effect, Lamborghini's new money earn, that's a big responsibility for a car like the Huracan. Now, these days, stuff like power increases at a much more dramatic rate in vehicles than it used to, say, in the 90s supercars. Back then, 600 horsepower was the pinnacle. Now, 600 horsepower only just gets you in the club. The Huracan now has over 600 horsepower, and it's the, in effect, entry-level Lamborghini. What it does with that power, though, compared to what supercars mostly did in the 90s, is pretty impressive. And although the top speed of modern exotics doesn't necessarily reach the same heights that it used to, the acceleration in particular is so much quicker now thanks to advancements in technology, and the cars are also much safer and, surprisingly, more forgiving to drive, despite having so much more power. The Huracan is a perfect example of this. It offers the performance of what would have been one of the world's most expensive cars in the 90s, and that kind of track potential, in a package which is much more affordable than it would have been in the 90s, and much more accessible and user-friendly. The people who can buy cars like this and use them nowadays are nothing like what they had to be in the 90s. To get the best out of a 90s supercar, you essentially had to be a race driver. Now, you don't.